Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys a quick tutorial on how to do the new little design that um, has been on trend. The one with the little clouds and the, um, oh this is not it, but um, the chrome, the unicorn chrome. And this is a really simple design. We're going to go ahead and use a unicorn chrome that um, I purchased from a website oh. called Born oh, Pretty. And I'm going to start by using this pink um, gel color. Let me zoom out a little so you guys can see. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and do a coat of this one. And this is just my base color. Um, you guys could go ahead and choose any color you would like whether it's white pink blue i've seen it mainly on blue and pink nails so okay i'm gonna go ahead and cure this really fast is that fast mom done no mom one done Okay, meanwhile, this is curing. You guys are going to want to cure it for at least 60 seconds and maybe do one or two coats depending on how much coverage do you, coverage does your um, gel polishes have. I'm kind of shaking mine a little because I did notice that the um, color wasn't mixed well. I do have them sitting there. I really don't do gel polish. I mainly work with acrylic powders, but before you use them, always try to shake it just to make sure that you guys get um, the color and the pigment right and you don't get it like watered down. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and I'm gonna do one more coat just because it's not full coverage. But we're gonna go ahead and do it. One more coat. I'm going to go ahead and cure that again. Sorry, I keep passing in front of the camera, guys. <clears throat> and meanwhile, that is getting cured. I'm going to show you guys my unicorn chrome that I've been talking about to you guys. Um, it's from Born Pretty. And it looks like this. It's kind of like a, um, I don't know. It's like a unicorn chrome. And you could use a makeup sponge or um, anything that you could basically use to, to rub. So you could use your finger, you could use a makeup sponge, you could also use a regular um, brush. So to apply, the chrome we're gonna want to do a thin layer of um gel top coat mom is somewhere in the table and you want to make sure you get it from side to side For this, we're not gonna cure it. Um, we're not gonna cure it for that long. Possibly for maybe um, either 15 or 20 seconds. I'm gonna do um, like 15 seconds, really quick. All right. All right. I wanna hit it it for you guys off camera i'm gonna go ahead and just dip my brush in and rub let me do a little close-up so you guys can see what it looks like and you don't want to over cure it just because of the fact that um jelly get your feet off 
just because um you want to kind of have it still tacking away just so that um when you apply the chrome it actually sticks on okay there we go so this is what it looks like let me show you guys let me focus it give me one second okay there we go so this is what it looks like now we're gonna want to get some of our white gel polish and i'm gonna use jelixer um snow white color number 090 Tiny. and i'm just gonna get a little container and place some of my gel polish a little dot on top of it Okay. I'm also going to be using my um, d d Nail Art Brush. I'm not sure of the uh, size, but it's just this really thin brush. And I got this one from City Nails. Okay. So for this one, you're going to want to do a few clouds. So we're going to go ahead and dip our brush. Just the tip of it, like that. Hold on. For some reason, it's not focusing that good. Okay, so you're gonna want to get like this much um, gel, and we are going to draw our little clouds. For the little clouds, it's kind of like just do a straight line. And you're going to want to draw like a number three. Mama, go with Nini. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and fix around here. And right here, I'm just going to make it a little bit longer, like that. So that's her little cloud looks like. going to go ahead and do another one. Down here. I'm going to move my camera, sorry guys. That way you guys could see a little better how I'm doing this. Because I do have it. Let me see. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw one right here on the side and I'm gonna do a straight line and then can I do like a number three up here so do a big one I mean a small one a big one and then just kind of going down the one that's going down I'm gonna pull a little more to the outer corner so even though it looks like that once you fill it out and go through the top lines again it's gonna give it a different look I remember from the bottom it doesn't have to be perfect either but okay so that's a bigger size cloud now we're gonna go ahead and do a smaller size cloud give me one second Okay, for the last one, I am going to do a really small one right here at the tip. So for that one, I'm going to do a small line. Go up one, two, three. Fill it in. So yeah, once we have our three clouds like that, we're going to go ahead and add some stars. And some little rhinestones so for the stars you're gonna want to use you could either draw them on and by drawing them on all you have to basically do is just really really um, lightly make a light going down And then you do another one like this. It's 
kind of like a cross. And we're gonna do another small one here. Do one more around here. Remember, it's a straight line going down. And we're going to do it like that. So, this is what it looks like so far. Let me focus it so you guys will see. This is what it looks like. I am not done with it. I'm still going to add a few more little details to it. Um, okay, one second. <clears throat> okay, so for this, I'm going to go ahead and... do this inner inner um part a little bigger kind of like a little circle and i'm only gonna do it to that one i'm gonna add rhinestones to it as well so let me show you guys what that's gonna look like Like I said, you could add little stars, you could add rhinestones. Um, and by stars, I, I mean this kind. Let me show you guys. This kind of stars. I'm gonna add maybe like two of them and add some rhinestones as well. So I could have a little bit of both. Um, to apply my rhinestones, I do use my Sulai nail adhesive. Um, but before we do this, guys, sorry, forgot. We're gonna cure because our gel is still wet. We are gonna cure for at least 30 seconds. And um, we're just curing just to make sure that the gel actually stays in place. Um, you know, that it's not wet whenever we apply our rhinestones or um any other nail art that we want to place so once we've cured our gel this is what it looks like so far let me focus that again okay we're gonna go ahead and use our no adhesive to add the little stars and the uh, rhinestones to the nail. Let me focus this. Sorry guys, it keeps, for some reason my phone's like unfocusing a lot today. I'm gonna do more rhinestones than stars. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place my rhinestone right in the middle of the star to give it a little pop. And I'm using um, a size five. I don't want anything too big, but for the star two, I'm gonna use, there's different size in here. I'm gonna use like a medium size star and I'm gonna try to place it kind of like sideways um, from how the star is facing. And by that, I mean that I want the star to show the one I drew and then also the other little star. And you guys know that I like to cure, if I'm working fast, I like to cure my, um, my nail adhesive just like a glue on fat better and it's just a quick um a quick what's it called um cure maybe just 15 seconds okay, let me put this away okay. about 
All right, nice. Can you move this out of the way? And this is what Ordinary looks like right now. It's super simple, super cute. Um, so when you guys are done with that, you're gonna go ahead and use your top coat and seal it. And this is just for your um, crumb not to fall off. And I use I like to use um, <clears throat> a separate gel coat for my um, chromes or my pigments or anything that I'm doing that has to do with like anything I rubbed just because sometimes it does go on the actual brush and I do not want my my actual gel top coat to be full of like little glitter or whatever like for other sets that don't you know that I haven't added any glitter to so just to save myself that I'm not gonna dirty my brush I just use a different kind of um a different uh, top coat just for my crumbs sorry about me stuttering a lot but I'm over here looking at my daughter she's making travesuras guys you guys know how she is so once we've done that I'm gonna go ahead and cure it and then this time we're curing it for a full minute but yeah, guys, hopefully you guys liked how my nail turned out. I'm going to go ahead and post a picture so you guys could go ahead and see what the nail looks like. Um, it's a super simple design. It's super cute for right now. I've been seeing it everywhere and been wanting to try it. To be honest with you, I didn't even practice it. I just kind of like said, fuck it, I'm going to try it. And it came out really cute. Um, I know I could get better at it, but for now, this is something that i've been wanting to do for you guys like teach you guys how to do different little things and i think it did pretty well so let me show you guys oops sorry <laughs> i hit the camera let me show you guys how it came out so this is a final look yep so if you, hopefully you guys liked it and you guys try it out and if you do Please send me a message, tag me so I could go ahead and repost you guys. But thank you for watching though. I appreciate it. Have a good day.